Who is more likely to be spontaneously romantic? <coughs> Me. <laughs> It's Paige. I'm Polly. And today we're doing the much anticipated girlfriend tag. Yes. So if you guys don't know how this game works, basically we just ask each other questions from a list of questions, pretty much to help you guys get to know us individually and kind of as a couple. Okay. First question. <laughs> when is your anniversary? Do you know it? I know it. Oh my god, I thought you were... No? Sorry, ready? Yeah. 3, 2, 1, December, December 30th, 30th, 2016. Oh, I didn't know your date. Yes, I remember 2016. Okay, good job. <laughs> well done. Where was your first date? Our first date was... Because you mm, took me out. Yes, I took you out to Milestones. We went, it's mm -hmm. just a restaurant. Nice Pretty restaurant. fancy restaurant. It is. I say so myself. Well, uh, you know, you. sugar mommy. <laughs> you didn't let me pay. Yeah. I fought you on it. Didn't let you. I'll pay. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't actually bring a wallet. <laughs> yes, and then we saw nice. a movie afterwards. I didn't bring a coat because I liked my outfit, but I was freezing. But I wanted you to think I looked nice. I didn't want to spoil it with a ski jacket because it was in like winter, mm -hmm. Canadian mm -hmm. winter. Who was the first to verbally say I love you? Well, I accidentally said it first. <laughs> Very by accident. I meant it, but like I, I wanted to say I love you. We were just hanging out. How long had we been together? Like two months. It was young. It was a fresh relationship. Paige, like, did something to like playfully piss me off, and she's like, "You love me," which we did quite a bit, like that banter back and forth. Yeah. But then this one time, I was like, "I do." And then it was silent. <laughs> and I knew she didn't mean to say it, so we kind of oh. were just like, I tried to play it off like I didn't hear it because I knew uh. you were uncomfortable. Yeah. I just remember thinking like, Fuck. <laughs> But to answer the question, I was the first person to really say I love you. It was such a sweet moment. It was. We were just cuddling, listening to music, and yeah. we tried to say it. We both knew we wanted to say it. But we couldn't. We were the saying courage. like everything, but I think you left for something, and I had like made a playlist, and I was gonna mm. say it when this certain song came on, because that was like our song, yeah. and it came on, and I just like I went to say it, and I got all tearful. Basically, she was a pussy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but I replayed the playlist for the second time because um, this that's how long it took me. And I was like, I'm gonna say it this time, and then just as I was about to do it, you swooped in. Page saves the day. It was the best day ever. Okay, enough being mush. Yeah. Yeah, making myself sick. What made you realize you were in love with me? Oh my god, it put me on the damn spot. You got a fat <laughs> ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was so douchey. Okay. I think, oh, there's a lot of little things that added up, but one of my biggest things was you knew exactly how to handle me. I'm a very anxious person. You, since the beginning, have been so good at dealing with my anxiety from day one. Like, even though you haven't had to deal with a whole lot of anxiety in your life, I felt mm -hmm. like you right away were very just understanding and listened and supported me. And that was huge for me because it's just such a big part of my life. So I would say that was probably the biggest thing. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah. I knew the fat ass bit. Yeah. For you, you are the only person to ever challenge me and keep me on my toes and call me out on my shit. Like I felt like we were genuine equals and that was a big turn on for me. I felt like I met my match with you and she makes me laugh every single day, all day. And it's so easy to fall in love with someone like that. Mm -hmm. That's definitely it. Your humor, number one and your personality. Do you live together? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that was a bit douche. I just bought my own condo and Paige lives about, what, 15 minutes away? Yep. Paige is still in school. You'd work through school, but it's not like a steady income, like yeah. a salary. Paige is very 
independent, which I love, but it's a double-edged sword because she's so independent. You don't want to move in until you can pay your way and yeah. pull your weight, which I totally respect. So no, we don't live together, but we can see each other a lot more now, yeah. now that I live closer and now that it's the summer. And I live at home with my parents right now. It's not like I'm living on my own. No, then we'd have problems. Yeah. <laughs> I think for saying we've been together for a year and a half, to not live together by lesbian standards is pretty ridiculous. We just moved in like two weeks after <laughs> we started talking. Holy sh! <laughs> what is your girlfriend's best physical feature? <laughs> you gotta pick one. I'm trying. I'm in my head. I'm shuffling through. <laughs> Any mini mini mall. Your eyes. Can I say eyes? Yeah, well, you took mine. I think and eyes. The eyes is like. Everything else is gonna change in time, but those, well, they better stay the same. <laughs> what the f I love you. Yeah. <laughs> How did you meet? Let's make this one really quick because eventually we want to do an actual full video for you guys. We've been requested that a few times yeah. to do a how you met. Just, yeah, keep it really simple. Then. Yeah, so we met in school, in university. We ran in similar friend groups, but never properly cross paths until our third year. Yeah, we knew of each other in our first yes. year because of our residence, we were the same residence. Yeah, we were so. in a small res. Yeah, we'll keep it short and sweet and we'll make a, a proper video yeah. on that. How long have you been together? We're coming up to a year and a half. Yeah. A year and four months, exactly. Yeah. Were either of you out before becoming a couple? I wasn't, not to my family, but you were. I was. Yeah, a few of my friends knew before, like my closest friends knew, and it's something I was coming to terms with. I guess that's another video we can make. Yeah, Jokes. yeah, we have been asked about that on comments as well, so. If, as long as you guys want them, we'll make full videos explaining yeah. a few different things. But yeah, I came out with Paige as my girlfriend, but you have been out for a few years before. Yeah, I had, I had a relationship prior to this that I was fully out with for a while. <laughs> that's been ages. Do you garden? And why'd you need so many hoes? <laughs> <laughs> Who is the dominant one in the relationship? Ooh, good question. Who do you think? I'm asking you. I think nine times out of ten it is very equal. Which yeah, is one of my really favorite nice. things about us. Yeah, no, I agree. I was gonna say the one out of ten it's me. <laughs> I would, uh, yeah, I would agree. <laughs> How do you usually get over an argument or fight? Communication. Communication is key. But I would like to say that we we haven't had an argument. But that's what I mean, like you avoid arguments completely. Like it's mm -hmm. very strange to say we've been together for about a year and a half and we truly haven't had any actual arguments. Yeah, I think a lot of people would argue that arguments are healthy because mm -hmm. you're getting your emotions out. And they can be, there's nothing wrong with totally, arguing. Totally, because it depends on the relationship yeah. and the personality. Because you are so calm and I'm more feisty. <laughs> if I'm feisty with Paige, I won't get what I want. You won't retaliate to me. No. So I think honestly the reason why we haven't had an argument is because of you. <laughs> You've saved it, but you've calmed me down mm -hmm. and made me mature a bit. Just a bit. I mean, I was already very, very mature. Sure. So. <laughs> Does your girlfriend have an angry, annoyed, or you're in trouble stare? But Holly goes as soon as as soon as her eyes go. Anytime she's got half a pupil, I'm like, oh <laughs> shit! Watch the f out. She is ready to go. What is your girlfriend's favorite movie? The Lion King. Well done. Oh, I really wanted to dab, but I already did it in the last video. <laughs> I don't know your favorite video. I mean, movie. I don't know my own favorite movie. I was movie. gonna say, you're not a big, like, I love this movie. I really like Mean Girls. Basic. I know. I don't watch a lot of movies. You're too busy being athletic. Yeah. <laughs> Who is more likely to randomly start dancing? Paige is nuts. We'll be cooking, and all of a sudden, she'll just break out in song and dance. Which is why she makes me laugh so much. I'm sure you guys will see that side of you so at some point, especially if we start vlogging. You guys in You can't avoid it. Who is more likely to be spontaneously romantic? <coughs> me. <laughs> I think it depends. I feel like we both can be. Um, it's tough to say. It is very Because I'm thinking of all the examples that you've done. And I'm thinking of the examples you've done, so it's hard. If I had to pick, I would say me. If I had to, but I honestly think it's very, very even. I would say you too. It's a tight race, but you just squeeze in at the end. <laughs> Used to that. 
Phil. What is the most romantic thing your girlfriend has ever done for you? For me, it was the promise ring you gave me in Greece. I feel like we could do a really a really cool separate video on the promise ring. Maybe yeah, I would I would like that because there's a yeah. lot build up to it. Yeah, if you guys want to see a detailed version of how mushy I got the promise story. ring, story, very mushy story. But if you want to hear about it leave a comment below. Basically, she gave me this promise ring while we were in Greece, um, and it was just the most amazing night ever. We had wine and snacks, and it was just us two, and it was it was amazing. It really was. For me, it's really hard. I don't get surprised very often, but you've surprised me with quite a few things. When we first started dating, actually dating, like right after I asked her out, you picked me up in the car, and when we got to your house, you let me go down the stairs first to her bedroom. And when I opened the door, uh, Halo by Beyonce was playing, which is my favorite song, still is. And she had made a fort with twinkly lights and blankets and pillows, and she had my favorite chocolates and wine and popcorn and just oh my. We'll post was... the video right here so you guys can see. Yeah. Oh my god, it was absolutely beautiful. I cried, and I don't cry yeah. either. And I just, I did because it was the nicest thing anyone has ever done for me. You put so much effort and thought into it. That has to be number one, but there's so many others that you've done. I have a question. Okay. Well, it's not on this list, but who asked who out? Oh, you're setting me up for a spike here. Yeah. Uh, here you go. <laughs> Run for it. <laughs> Shut up. I asked Paige out. So you said I love you first, but I asked you to be my girlfriend first. Been seeing each other for two months. I would say, and it was, I was very sure of her and I, and um, you met my dad for the first time that weekend, and I took her to the falls. This could be another whole I know. video. We'll just keep it short again. Keep it short. Yeah. <laughs> you want more? <laughs> Comment below. We're just like feeding the <laughs> I know. to bits. Sorry. <laughs> Teaser. But yeah. yeah. You guys gotta let us know if you're interested in this, because we're not gonna make videos if you guys don't want They're it. They're gonna be like, f*** these b we're not getting what we want. We're out. <laughs> we promised them like 17 videos. I know. Um, but basically, again, I chickened out when I wanted to do it. And I was walking her to her car the next morning. And I had no makeup on. I had Ugg boots tucked into sweats. Like, it was just not looking good at all. And she was about to drive off. And I just grabbed you and I was like, I don't want to start the new year not being your girlfriend. Will you be my girlfriend, Paige? And she said yes, so we both cried, and it was very <laughs> gay and beautiful. <laughs> it was amazing. It was so perfect. I feel like I blacked out. Yeah, no, it was perfect. It really was. Yeah. Okay, well, we hope you enjoyed the video today, guys. Um, it was very soft. So. Yeah, a little bit mushy. <laughs> Sorry about that. We just wanted to say thanks again for all the support and everything we've received throughout all this. We never expected it to grow this Not much, this fast. So just thank you guys so much. Yeah, as long as you guys keep enjoying them, we'll keep making them. Yeah. Anyways, thanks again, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys.